The Douglas Monzor led MDC has grabbed the Citizen Coalition for Change CCC political party Bulawayo offices. The offices were used by the CCC faction aligned with Nelson Chamisa. Monzora told reporters Sunday that the MBC was also awarded 90,000 US dollars in compensation from the CCC by the courts. The property, named the Gertrude Thombany House, is situated at number 41 Fort Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Bulawayo. The party offices in question were named in honor of the late veteran trade unionists, who had also served as a national executive member of the original MBC party led by the late Morgan Richard Spangerai. The offices have been used successively by the MDC, MCT, MDC Alliance, and most recently, CCC for their political activities and operations. After Chamisa departed from the CCC in January 2024, Hughes associated with him took over the party's offices, repainting the premises from the previous yellow color to blue, and also hanging Chamisa's portrait on the precast wall of the building. The blue color is associated with a new political movement being spearheaded by former CCC members Gift Ostalo Saziba and Moses Chibaya, who have claimed that Chamisa will eventually lead this emerging faction. In response, the CCC faction led by Senjizo Chibangu took legal action, seeking spoliation damages from Chamisa and his supporters over the unauthorized occupation and rebranding of the party offices. Shibangu and his colleagues argued that Chamisa's supporters forcibly took control, occupation, and possession of the building by painting the whole offices and precast wall, which was unlawful, prejudicial, and amounts to spoliation. However, in the latest development, the MBC has gained control, with the courts awarding Monzora's party 90 US dollars. 000 as compensation from the CCC said Monzora. We were in Bulawayo to officially hand over our offices to the provincial leadership. As you know, our offices in Fort Street were occupied by criminals who came and took our offices and painted them yellow. Then the criminals came again and repainted them blue. As the MDC, we thought enough was enough and decided to take our offices back. One, the courts ruled that we must get our offices back. And two, the court said the MDC must be paid 90,000 US dollars by the CCC for having used these offices. Monzora said that the party plans to utilize the anticipated 90,000 US dollars it expects to receive from the CCC as part of its mobilization efforts in the Matabililand region. Monzora added that the MDC will also move to reclaim its party offices in other areas such as Gwanda, Wang, Pueru and Kwekwe that were previously occupied by the CCC and its affiliates. Furthermore, Monzora revealed that he had sent written notifications to Chamisa, Chibangu, and Welshman Cube informing them of the MDC's intentions, but claimed that they did not respond to his correspondence. He added, We are not talking about possession. We are talking about ownership, and we do own the property. It is in the name of the MDC. We have the title deeds and bought this property from a prominent businessman in Bulawayo well before 2011 and well before the CCC was formed. This was well before Senjizo Chibangu became the Senjizo Chibangu that we know today, well before Nelson Chamisa abdicated his party.